क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन पार्ट ए स्केच द इक्वेशन वाई इक्वल थ्री टाइम फोर टू दवर एक्स एंड शो द कॉर्डिनेट ऑफ एनी पॉइंट ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन विद दर्डिनेट एक्सेस दे वॉन्ट यू टू स्केच द एक्सपोनशियल फंक्शन वाई इक्वल थ्री टाइम फोर टू दवर एक्स इट इज नॉट थ्री टाइम फोर टू दवर एक्स दीज टू आर डिफरेंट दीज टू आर डिफरेंट दिस इज थ्री टाइम्स फोर टू दवर एक्स सो वी नो ऑल द एक्सपोनशियल फंक्शन will look like this y equals a to the power x and the point of intersection with the y coordinate when you replace x by 0 it is 1 always 1 always 1 this the exponential function for y equals a to the power x but here again if it is just 4 to the power x if it is just 4 to the power x this is your graph This is your graph, but it is three times four to the. In graphs and transformation, we learn when you multiply a function by a, your all the y coordinates will be multiplied by a. So one times three will be three. So your new graph will be something like, let's say this graph is, this your new graph will be something like. Oh, sorry, not three. Will pass through one, one, three, something like this. Don't worry about the the curve. Uh, actually, they need the point of intersection only. You can just draw a curve. You don't need these curves. You don't need to show them this. Just draw exponential curve. Make sure it doesn't touch the x-axis, and the point of intersection you need to show very clearly, which is three. And always label the graph. Make it as a practice. Three, four to the power x. This point of intersection is very important. So this question has two marks. You need to label the graph, uh, plot the point, the point of intersection, and that's all. And this curve will never touch the x-axis because x-axis is the asymptote of a exponential curve. So this question has two marks. Part B. The curve with equation y equals six to the power one minus one x meets the curve with the equation mentioned in part A at the point P. Show that the x-coordinate of P is log two upon log twenty-four to the base ten. You are given another function y equals six to the power one minus x meets the function meets the curve y equals what three times four to the power x. At the point P, you need to show that the x-coordinate of the point P is this. So how do we find the point of intersection? We equate them. So you equate this and this. Six to the power one minus x is three times four to the power x, and find the value of x. You will get this already. This question has five marks. So how do we find the uh, x? X is given as an exponent. So you need to Take logarithm on both side. When you take logarithm on both side, you can write one minus x log six to the base ten is log of three times four to the power x. Here I'm using laws of indices. When you have log a to the power b, you can write it as b log a. The base can be anything. So that's what I apply here. I write it as b log a. Log of a times b. Another laws of indices. Log of a times b. You can write it as log a plus log b. So I'm going to write it as log three plus log four to the power x. If again four to the power x can be written as x log four. So log three plus x log four. Here I have when I multiply these I have log six minus x log six all the base ten. Now it looks like a linear equation. So how do we solve this? We put x all one side and the term without x all to the other side. So when you put this thing here and bring the three here, log six 
minus log 3 is x log 4 plus x log 6. I can take x as a common factor log 4 plus log 6. How you want to simplify it, it's up to you. You simplify, you get x, you'll get this equation alone. Now, log a minus log b can be written as log a upon b to the base 10. x into log a plus log b can be written as log a times b. That's all. You got the solution already because 6 upon 3 is 2. So your x is log 2 upon log 24. The base can be anything. Here it's a base 10. So just write 10. That's all. Just like uh, solving equations involving logarithms. Take log on both sides and solve it. Simplify it. Apply laws of logarithms. You get it. This is an easy 5 mark.